Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be working on our button simulator game. And what we're gonna do is make it so you can stand on the button and constantly be gaining instead of having to walk on the button, get off it and go back on just to make it easier to AFK and just more convenient. So we can open up our multiplier button script, which should be over here in service script service. So we're going to start off by working in our multiplier buttons. So what we're going to do is first we're going to make a new variable to determine that the player is touching the button. So let's do local touching equals false. So this is just going to make a variable called touching that's equivalent to false because well currently nobody's actually touching the button. And let's just do touching one since we have three buttons. So now once the player is touching the button which is inside of our touch function right here we are going to set touching one to true or not one but true so this variable will be changed to false from or false to true now right here we're gonna real quick check and make sure it is a player so we don't make any unnecessary like or we don't make any unnecessary functions happen so let's do if player then and then we can put this in here by either pressing ctrl x or right clicking it and pressing cut then we can go here and press ctrl v or right click and press paste now something we're going to do is we're going to make it loop this is how we're going to make it so the player is constantly gaining while they're on the button so we're going to do repeat and then once you hit enter it should put an until at the bottom if it doesn't put until just make sure you type it and we're going to do until touching one equals equals false so it's going to constantly repeat until touching one is false on in other words touching or the player no longer touching the part so we can once again cut this and paste this in here Control x control and then Control v and then well if we don't add a delay to this the script is going to do something called exhaust and it's just going to completely stop working so make sure you at least have a delay of like 0.0001 seconds at least but what i'm going to do is task i'll wait 0.1 so every 0.1 second the person is going to be able to gain from standing on the button and this function is going to run so now we actually have to make a way for touching one to become false because we don't want the player to touch the part and then stop touching it and keep gaining. So we're gonna do down here, button one dot button dot touch ended connect function. And then we can put hit in these parameters. And so we're going to pretty much do the same thing here where you're going to do touching one equals false. And then this is just going to set touching one well, to false. So this is going to stop this loop from happening. So the player will stop gaining once they stop touching the part as intended. And now something we can do is if you want to do something extra, you can do local player equals game, get service players, get player from character, hit dot parent which is making a variable called player, getting a service in Roblox Studio called players, which just gets all the players, and then getting the player from the player's character, which hit, say the person's leg touches the button, the parent of the person's leg is their character, and since we're getting the player from character, we want to get character here. And then if it is a player, then we will set touching one to false. and yeah so let's go ahead and test this let's hit play and let's let this load up and so cash and since we only did it for button one these buttons currently don't work as it should so let's hit current or let's hit current client and switch it to the server then let's go to players, let's go to our username, let's just go to leader stats and change our cash value to just any large number, just so it makes it easier for us to test. Now if we stand on this button, as you can see, constantly gaining multiplier, and once I stop touching it, I am no longer gaining any multiplier. So now player, all I have to do is stand on the button. Obviously you can change the delay you want, 
to anything so it could be like you could put 0 0.0001 as many zeros as you want but i wouldn't recommend it or you can make it every one second they gain multiplier so that's for our multiplier buttons but obviously we have to make it work for the rest of our multiplier buttons and our plus one rebirth button and any other buttons that you do have so it's a similar process something we could do if you want is select all of this right click and press copy go down here and for button 2 you can replace it all and right click and press paste and then just change one on everything to two but i'm just gonna redo everything once one more time just so you can see the process but for number three i will copy and paste it just to show you how you can easily change these by doing that so right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another touching variable so look at touching two equals false inside of our button we're gonna do touching two equals true then we're going to check if it's player or if player exists because if it's not a player we don't want to try and add like an empty part stats since obviously it wouldn't have any stats so before we cut and paste this in here let's make our repeat so we're going to do repeat until and then we're going to make sure we add our task style weight and you can make them different delays if it's like a better button if you want but in this case i'm just going to keep it as 0 0.1 and then I'm going to highlight create button. I'm going to right click and press cut and go right here and press control V to paste it. So that should paste in our function. And we have to make sure we have something for it to stop at. So we're going to do until touching to equals equals false. Now we actually have to make it so this variable can be updated to false so it stops. So let's do button to dot button dot touch ended connect function hit. Then once again, local player equals game get service players get player from character dot parent, which is just making a player variable, getting player from player services using their character. And if it is a player, we would do touching to equals false. So this is our second button completed. So now if you want to quickly be able to update any other buttons, just select all of this, including the variable at the top, right click and press copy. Then you can hover over or select button three, right click and press paste, or you can press control V. And just change each one of these numbers right here to a number three, just like so. And then that should finish the multipliers buttons now we can go to rebirth buttons and do the same thing we can go down here and we can we can actually directly copy button one from our multiplier scripts since we only have one button here and it's going to be the same process since we named everything the same so go to your multiplier buttons and select your button one setup you can press Control V to copy it or Control C. Go to Rebirth buttons, select the button one set up here and press Control V. And that should set up multiple or Rebirth buttons as well. And in a future video or probably the next video, we're gonna make this a lot more organized and easier because currently you have to like copy and paste this to add a new button. But in the next video, we're going to work on making it so everything is automatic meaning you can just duplicate a button change its settings like its config and then it'll automatically set up that button without you having to modify the scripts but for now we're just getting the work done so let's go ahead and hit play and let's test out our buttons so once again we got to give ourselves some cash or you can wait for it but i'm gonna go hit the button at the top go to players look for my name go to leader stats go to cash and just spam a bunch of numbers in there and something we will do before this video ends is as you can see the cash above our name well if you want we can abbreviate it similar to how it is in the leaderboard where it says 420b instead of all of this but as you can see, if we stand on this button, we are gaining multiplier every 0.1 second. If we go on this one, 
same thing and if we go on this one it's the same thing sometimes it may cut out but we will change that in a future video just to make it more efficient we could go over here and get some rebirths which we don't have that much there we go and there's one thing that we should change if these like if there's more delay than you set for each of these buttons there is something that you have to remove I mean, sometimes these buttons don't work but let's go ahead and over here and if there is a task.await inside of the create button function make sure to remove it so if we go to rebirth buttons and we go here we have this task.await 0.8 make sure you remove that or it'll interfere with this delay over here so now we have to add an abbreviation sorry to the overhead UI over here and so I will link this down in the description I have an abbreviation script which is pretty easy to use I might make a tutorial on it but for now I've just got it already pre-made so just go to the toolbox and once you get it you can go to my models and you can either search it up or you can hit the button as it should probably be up here and I'll drag this into replicated storage this is a module script these are all of the variables that it goes up to. it goes up to 199 zeros after the number if you want you can add more all you have to do is go down press e or type in e and then well you have to add three so 199 to 202 comma and then enter and you can do e205 and so on but i think we have enough um zeros and make sure you add a comma every time you add one so to use this module we have a format at the bottom you can select this and cut it or copy it by pressing ctrl c or ctrl x and now to go to our script for our overhead right here let's actually go to the top and let's go down a few lines and let's press ctrl v or you can paste it in or if you'd like we could manually type this so let's do local module equals game dot replic or we actually have to do require game dot replicated storage wait for child abbreviate we require it because we just want to like get all of the information inside of it instead of just getting the instance so now if we go down here what we can do is we can replace player.leaderstats.cache.value when we're changing the cache.clone.txt we can change this to module.abbreviate and then player.leaderstats dot cash dot value and now we can do the same thing over here and we don't have to remove this what we can just do is type around it so module dot abbreviate and then put parentheses and one at the end of that and same thing down here abbreviate module dot abbreviate and then add our parentheses and then make sure you do the this with the change functions over here so let's just do module dot abbreviate and add that around module dot abbreviate once more and then this is the final time we have to do that module dot abbreviate so now if we go back to our game and we hit play and we test it out the numbers above our head shouldn't just be a bunch of scrambles of them numbers should be abbreviated so let's say 400 million would be 400 m instead of 400 and the zeros so if we type something like this as you can see 3.47 t or 3.47 trillion which roblox for some reason decides to do 3000 billion but that's how roblox does it in the leader stats and as you can see if we add some more zeros it goes to septillion and let's just add a few more zeros and then we are at dual decillion so this goes up pretty far and that should be our buttons and abbreviation working 
So let's go and try this out over here real quick. As you can see, we instantly gained two. Let's actually get some more multiplier real quick. And as you can see, 1000 multiplier or 1K instead of it being one followed by three zeros. Just go stand on this button and gain some reverse. As you can see, we didn't have to move at all. We could just stand right on top of it. And if we keep farming, we can you can honestly just AFK farm now. So in the next video, we're going to be making it much easier to add new buttons and we're going to clean up our code a bit. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.